to play some good rugby. They put themselves musicians to to get some uh, outcomes off kicks and oh, they worked very hard to put themselves in those positions and they took full uh, full advantage. So I suppose when you get behind in the game such as that, when you really haven't done anything that bad, I think they won maybe one line break for the whole game by my recollection. And you're down 22-6, you, you feel a bit of a tendency to chase the game and it's sort of, you know, it's a hard mental place to get out of. You really haven't been doing anything that wrong, but you still find yourself behind on the scoreboard. We had a very good training week, and as I, as I said, look, you know, you get you, to, you know, you get a few tries that maybe against the grain, against the against the run of play that you know that maybe weren't as created uh, as you would like. You know, you find yourself playing catch up. You, you know, get a bit of trying to force things that really, when they're not there, they're not there. So you know, we need to we need to go forward. We need to learn from that, and you know, we, we still still felt very confident at half time that you know we certainly had. Uh, we were chasing, you know, 17 points in the second half. We certainly felt that we, we were able to achieve that. I think, uh, you know, for us, we, we certainly need to eliminate some of the unforced errors. You know, we didn't really need to know the difference between, you know, when it's ready to play and when it is to go forward. But, you know, we're, we're, we just need to be able to build some more pressure on sides with, with the ball in hand. We're putting a lot of pressure defensively. And I thought, we, you know, we kicked OK this evening. I thought Dennis Hurley did some good stuff at the at fullback position there this evening. So... You know, we need to continue to work hard in defence. Uh, as I said, maybe one line break with five tries against it makes it uh, a difficult scoreline to suggest that. But we really need to make sure we put pressure in attack and, and build some momentum going forward. Look, I think if you look back at the games that have been played here this year, every side that's come here has played extremely well. It's, uh, you know, one of the things with a new stadium, it's uh, very comfortable, it's great surroundings, it's a great crowd, it's a great field, so, and you're playing Munster. So, you know, look at Glasgow, Montauban, uh, you know, Claremont, every side that's come here, you know, plays very well and we, we have no doubts about that and, you know, we, we expect that and it's a challenge for us to step up and match it. Well, you know, the great, great thing about sport and the great thing about rugby, you know, this, this week gives, an, gives us an opportunity to go forward and get a result. Like, you know, we haven't become a bad side overnight and we, we certainly weren't holding ourselves up to be a superior side in any, in any shape or form. So, you know, this week gives us an opportunity to, to get back on track. We just need to work hard and get through it. Look, you know, sides during, during, the, during the course of the season go through different ebbs and flows, don't they? When, when things are running your way, you seem to get all the bounce of the ball and, and calls and such as that. And when, you, when, you're not, when you're not playing that well, you don't seem to get them. So, look, you need to work hard to put yourselves in those positions, and I thought they did that this evening. We're working as hard as we can. The players have are working hard. They're a very proud bunch. The management are working hard. Everyone's working as hard as they as hard as they can. And you know, confidence is one of those things. You don't know where it goes. You don't know where it comes from. But all we need to do is galvanise together and work hard. And you know, it, it, you'll get there. Look, I suppose you know we're in a unique situation, aren't we? We 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 have a lot of players that are involved all year round through the autumn internationals, through Six Nations, and. To, to manage them all the way through from from week zero all the way through to I think last year was week 50 when the final was it's a, it's a real juggling act and when you're when you're putting a lot of players uh, forward for national selection it, it's certainly the manager that can take a toll but you know as I said we've been we've got a confidence in the squad that we've got and we're certainly giving guys opportunities to, to play there you know we as I said, the players are working hard, the squad you know, still believes in themselves and we just need to go forward from there. Because as I said, look, we've got to manage guys through a long, a long season, do you know what I mean? And we're working closely with the national management to make sure that you know, the players that we have are able to be filtered through you know, the whole season. It's, uh, you know, they're there, there to play through Autumns, they're there to play Heineken Cup, three Magnus in the Six Nations. So you know, we have an obligation to the players to make sure that you know, they can hang on and play through a whole season. It's no good you know, getting them through to... February then being busted for the rest of the year so we need to make sure that we manage them correctly and as I said in consultation with the national management that's what we're trying to do for, this, for the best welfare of the players. Yeah look we certainly need to, to look at if we've got enough passing in, in our training but as I said you know confidence you know when you're in your passing game being able to execute those things you know you just need to continue to work hard and go forward every day with it like as I said they haven't become bad passes or bad catches overnight do you know what I mean so you know we just need to stick together and go forward from here.